Hey y'all, it is your girl Sheik with a GLP-1 update. So this is what, week 45 for me? I started off on semaglutide. For those of you who have been following my journey, I was on semaglutide for about 28 weeks and then switched to terzepatide. Okay? So yeah, so um, I've been on terzepatide and it has been going extremely well I would say last week we didn't do an update for week 44 because um for week 43 I lost four pounds I lost four whole pounds and I skipped the injection for that week so for week 44 I stayed the same and so we are doing the week 45 update today okay so this is actually the update for week 45 and then I will be doing my next update Thursday Friday of this week so it'll be coming really quick behind this one okay y'all ready woo -woo. so for week 45 your girl lost a pound I was at 132.4 and I lost another pound so that puts your girl at 131.4 pounds okay that's my current weight is 131.4 pounds and I started back last, I started back last July, uh, July of 2023 is when I started my journey. And I was 194.6 pounds when I started. So let me just show you real quick. So here is what I was looking like right here. And here is where we at. This is actually a small and the pants are actually a little big, not on the waist, but like, you know, I'm short, I'm petite. So I'm only four foot 11 y'all. And so, um, yeah, I just was like, I'll wear my little slouchy socks and my little sneakers, my little tennies. I like these sneakers. They're super cute, but I got this little outfit also from Shein as well, y'all. I haven't lost, I ain't lost everything, y'all, as y'all can see. I'm, I'm a tiny little thing, but um, I got at least another 15 pounds or so to go before I reach goal. And then I can start, I can be in maintenance. And once I'm in maintenance, I'll be able to dose. Instead of once a week, I'll be able to dose every other week, okay? Um, but altogether... I have lost a total of 63.2 pounds total. 63.2 pounds down, you heard me all together in um, less than a year because it hasn't been quite a year yet. But when we hit July, it will be my year, okay? It will be my year anniversary on my GLP-1 journey. But I would say I did pretty good on semaglutide. I lost 40 pounds on semaglutide within like six months or so of time. And now your girl, um, since being on terzepatide, um, I had a stall in the beginning when I first got on it. And I'm glad I decided to be patient. Um, I took in factors like drinking lots of water. Um, I do not, I never really did struggle with eating huge meals. That was not my problem. It was probably more a factor of when I was choosing to eat and um, what I was eating as well but not how much like I never really have eaten like huge amounts I've always you know when people say your eyes bigger than your stomach I always would fix more food and ended up having to put my food away um and eat it the next day or something because I never could finish it so like when family and stuff when they make food and stuff for me they make a plate for me they do so much better fixing my plate than I do because even when I call myself fixing the small plate it'd be too much like I eat itty bitty amounts now, y'all. So I thought I ate small before, but now, woo. Um, but yeah, drinking water, that's really important. If you're having issues like with your hair, like this side of my hair has been thin for quite some time. But um, I did good with the hair affinity supplements when, um, in terms of length. When I tell you, I just started taking the Mary Ruth's. Um, 
it haven't even been a full week yet and i'm already starting to see a difference like you know so i'm seeing like little edges growing little baby hairs whatever y'all want to call it i call them edges but i'm seeing hair growing and um so i think it's gonna be a good journey i'm gonna finish that whole big old bottle y'all did a tiktok shop video for mary Ruth's, but yeah i think that's gonna be amazing and if, i'm just gonna let it grow um from where it's at now but that's good because y'all be able to see the difference um even better since i have a bob and i'm coming from a bob y'all be able to see when i do the results you know the the month the one month update results y'all be able to see what the difference is tremendously because um when i did the hair affinity supplements and showed y'all the results my hair was down here then i cut it into a bob so y'all be able to see again like the results okay but i got this from shein y'all know that's my spot um that's pretty much where i've been finding quite a bit but every time i size down when i size down i started at a 14 i was extra large and um ordered larges by the time i ordered them larges, i was in a medium by the time i started wearing my mediums i started having to order smalls and so now i've been ordering smalls and extra smalls because it was supposed to be fitted like um you know like the little sets with the like little biker shorts or whatever the little tights the fitted shorts um, if it's something like that, uh, it'd be like loose on the thigh or something like, I don't know. And I'm like, I thought she was still thick, thick. I thought she was still thick. Um, you heard me, but I guess not y'all, <laughs> but I'll still, um, I still got my, my coca shape still, um, hippie got my handles <laughs> getting some shrinkage still around the tummy. Um, y'all, I was wondering why my bras weren't fitting right. Cup size dropped from double D down to a D, which I'm cool with. But I was getting the strap wrong. Um, I had dropped from, because I was a 38 double D. So I was ordering 36. Um, I was ordering 36 D. And those wasn't fitting right. So I'm like, what's really the matter? What's really going on? And come to find out. Something told me, like, when was the last time you even took your measurement? Something, you know, just made me ask myself that question. So I went and got the little uh, measurement tape and I measured around here. And y'all, it don't even measure 34 inches. It's like 33 and a half or something inches around. So I went from a 38 inches all the way under a 36 inches. And I still can wear my 36, my bras that are 36D. But when I say they're like on the tightest that I can adjust them, I can't get them to go any tighter. So, um, yeah, so I'm going to um, have to get some more bras. But I like stuff that fit. And I'm also a content creator and I have to do content for brands and things like that. I do a lot of photos, um, photo shoots and things of that nature, modeling and stuff from time to time. So I'll be having to look right. I can't just go around wearing stuff that I had that's been too big for three or four months. So, um, I have, you know, ordered each stage down. I've had to figure out what size I had to wear. And that's the struggle about this journey, y'all. Um, but let the journey be the journey. Um, if you stall, there are things that you can do um, for a stall. Um, I did do a video regarding what you can do to help with loose skin. Um, yeah, I have like all kind of little videos and stuff uploaded y'all check out my youtube channel hey i'm chic yep i'm your girl chic follow me on social media y'all definitely follow my journey like i've been on this journey for a minute and i want to share like i'm not holding nothing back yes you heard me i'm not holding nothing back like i'm giving y'all all the tea everything that i didn't learn i'm sharing with y'all because um some things I had to find out the hard way on this journey, but I've learned a lot. And if I can help you, I'm going to help you. So that's what I'm here for. Let me know if y'all have like specific questions or if you're having a struggle uh, on your GLP-1 journey or if you're trying to decide, um, you know, what you want to do as far as your GLP-1 journey. Yeah, I started off on um, SEMA and then I switched to TERS and 
um, with Sema, I felt like my loss was slow, but don't rush it. That's the number one thing. Make sure you're drinking your fluids, your water. Make sure you are taking your fiber daily. I take fiber gummies. Things like that are really important because you have to keep it flowing because you can deal with a lot of constipation on GLP-1 meds. And it's not just about, oh, you take a, a magic pill and you just shrink and lose the pounds because it's a lot of struggles on this journey. Some people, they don't lose anything from a month or two months, you know, depending on um, how their body reacts to it. But the beginning doses are just starter doses. They're very low. They're just to introduce your body to it. So some people don't lose anything. I was really blessed in the beginning because I lost like eight pounds my first month alone. So, um, yeah, but I wasn't going to trip because I knew to expect the unexpected. You know, you just never know what can happen. So just be positive, be optimistic, but be realistic, too. At the same time, you need to have a balance there. If that makes sense. Y'all feel me? Um, but yeah, I'm. Loving where I'm at, y'all. I really am. And like I said, um, I can't believe that I started at a 14, then saw myself drop down to a 12, and then a 10, and then an 8, and then a 6, and now I'm ordering 4s. I'm ordering 4s. I cannot believe I'm ordering a size 4. <laughs> smalls and some extra smalls, too. Like I said, depending on what the fit is supposed to be, because I'm petite. So if I can find it in petite, Usually a small will do um, and maybe even some mediums. Like if it's like material that doesn't stretch or something like that, I probably can get away with a medium still and some things. So, um, but a lot of things I'm having to get in a small, extra small right now. Like I said, I got um, about 15 pounds or so to go before I reach a goal. And then I will go into maintenance and I will get to share that journey with y'all um, I don't believe in stopping cold turkey. A lot of people probably do gain their weight back like that. But to me, that makes no sense. That's just me, though. You do what works for you. Do your research. Do your own research. And based off of my research, that wouldn't be wise for me to do that. So um, being um, in maintenance, you'll be able to save money because obviously you're doing an um, injection um, twice a month or something of that nature, whatever your provider and you decide or whatever you decide. But for me, I have control over that because I use research peptides. Um, I order through AC peptides and mix my own. And I love the quality of their products. Their peptides are amazing. And um, yeah, uh, I started, uh, when I started, um, I went through um, Minute MD when I started. And um, it was okay. I didn't like the three month commitment though. That's one thing I didn't like. So I like just being in more control of my journey this way. So yeah. But um, in YouTube, in the um, under the video, like in the video description, I always include the links and stuff for y'all. Sometimes in the comments too. So yeah, I'll drop information for y'all. But I prefer to, to recommend non-beginners for mixing peptides because um, it's better when you're not totally new to taking the medication and you have some experience under your belt taking it and you're used to side effects or anything that uh, you may be experiencing and you know what adjustments to make. You've kind of um, started to uh, know your body and what you can and can't handle what it doesn't like while you're on the journey like in the beginning for instance if i ate overly fried unhealthy things things that were too sweet um i got nauseous okay on simmer i had a lot of nausea and indigestion so bad it was so uncomfortable Ugh. um but now i've been on it for a while not so much and i just take pepsi ac when that happens so yeah, let me know how y'all journey is going in the comments. I'm happy about where I am. The journey is journeying. Be patient um, in terms of stalls and things like that. Um, you have to just mess around to uh, determine what your body does and doesn't like. And once you do that, you'll know what and what not to do. Um, like eating too late and things like that. Like I tonight I have to go run and make spaghetti because I just got out of class late. But I do not normally eat anything after 7 o'clock p.m. And 
Um, it wouldn't probably matter too much because my amounts are so tiny. Like I was telling y'all, um, the amounts that I eat is very small. Um, I do battle with my senior gravis. So if anybody has autoimmune illnesses and things like that, um, I am, you know, experienced with having multiple because I have multiple conditions. I also have CIDP and rheumatoid arthritis. So yeah, so um, the journey has been journeying and my health has been improving. I'm not pre-diabetic any longer. My liver has improved. I actually had a blood clot in my leg and I know like losing weight helps with things like that as well. All that extra weight, it just adds to all the issues and uh, symptoms and stuff that you already have when, you know, you have health issues and things of that nature. So y'all don't give up. You heard me, um, you know, stay close to your providers, make sure you communicate. Don't be afraid to voice, you know, whatever your concerns are, express, ask questions. Um, you want to be in as much control of your journey as you possibly can. Your provider should be as well, but they should allow you to express your concerns and ask as many questions as you need to. Okay. So, um, so yeah, we're going to do the next update for week 46, which I'm currently on and it's going to be good y'all. Okay. So I lost one pound last week. Um, I forgot to let y'all know it was that time of the month. I won't get too into that because um, I do have my fellas that support and watch and that are also on this journey. But um, yeah, it was that time of the month. I'm surprised I lost anything, but I lost a pound. So I'm like, I'll take that. But this week we back on track. Okay. I'm already past uh, last week's goals. Let me just say that. <laughs> let me spoil it a little bit for y'all. But um. Yeah, so I'll be doing the next update. So y'all watch out for that. Ask me any questions down below. Follow me on social media and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Okay, I'm chic as well. I need to have you in my life. You heard me. Um, but your girl chic loves y'all. Um, do something good for somebody. Be kind. Keep your head up. Don't give up. And I'm here to help y'all in any way that I can while you're on your journeys. But keep winning. You got this, y'all. Y'all got it. We got it. We got this. All right. Love y'all. Bye.